Hi, crafty friends. You guys, we're gonna take this container from the Dollar Tree, at least just the bottom part of it, with this faux leather that I got, and we're gonna turn it into a really cool container. So I'm just gonna kind of measure out here how much I need to go all the way around. Um, I was pretty proud of myself for guessing, and it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Because, y'all, I am not a measurer. I'm really bad about that. Um, so I'm just going to cut that off. Now, it's a little bit long right now um, for the cylinder. So we will have to cut it again. And what I decided to do was I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer than the cylinder. Because the bottom part of the cylinder, there's kind of... It kind of folds over and in, and I thought we could tuck the extra down there. And then the part that we cut off, we will put that on the inside so that when we put um, flowers or a plant or whatever we put in here, um, you don't see the cardboard on the inside. So I love this pattern so much. I think it's so precious, but I thought, ooh, let's add a little bit more to this because, you know, that's what we do over here. We always add more. All right, so I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to, um, you know, brush it in really good on this. And then we are going to wrap the cylinder right around that. So easy peasy. Um, and then I did go ahead when I uh, wrapped it, or, you know, onto the, not where I started wrapping, but where I ended up wrapping, put a little bit, a little dab of hot glue on the top and the bottom just to kind of hold it in place why that Mod Podge is setting uh, on there and, you know, setting up, I should say, to keep it all nice and even. And if you guys have ever used this um, faux leather before, it's got a little bit of a stretch, but not too much, which I think is perfect when you're trying to do something like this. So here's where the bottom of the container. So like I said, there's that little lip and I thought I would just hot glue and just go all the way around so that way I didn't have to worry about cutting again um, on that bottom edge. So I went through some of my uh, fabric and uh, lace and doilies and all the things that I have and I found this vintage stuff. Um, this is my favorite thing to find at the thrift stores or like antique stores. People put them in a bag and you know crunch it all in there and then you find it and you're like, oh, it's magical. Yeah, that's my favorite thing to find. Uh, so we're gonna add some of this on there and um, here's where I'm putting that part that we cut off on the center, just to kind of cover that up just a little bit in case you see anything once you put this stuff in there. But I thought, hmm, why not just add that in? And then I didn't even fold it over on the top and it kind of just, um, the way I put the, uh, lace on there, it just kind of, you know, you don't see that there's that part in between. It looks like it's just supposed to be that way. All right, friends, so look how adorable this is. Like, I love, love, love when you can take something and turn it into something else. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Follow for more.